Now, y'all know it's none of my business, but you know I have got to talk about it when I find it very interesting. So, come on in. Come on in the room, honey. Come on in the house. Sit you a seat. Get you a seat. Sit down. And let's talk about this situation. And I know Mama Joyce got a lot to say. Candace, she ain't paying the five. She ain't paying the fifteen thousand. She ain't paying the twenty thousand. Now, from my understanding, Candace, this tax thing been going on since July of this year, and it just seems like you want to make it one big round number. Now, you already at twenty grand, girl. You ain't Martha Stewart. You ain't got them kind of problems. Lauren Hill. <sighs> Yeah, y'all might be swimming in the same boat. Uh, we talking about people that had problems with the IRS owing them candy that went to jail. Girl, can you say jail time? Now, you know you ain't of that Caucasian type of persuasion. And <laughs> he has a lot more money. So, he just sold a cow so that he probably inherited. But Wes is nice went to jail. Okay. Ron Isley went to jail. Lauren Hill went to jail. Sophia Loren. I don't know if she went to jail or not. Or she just got herself tarnished. But, yeah, they put sexy baby. But sexy Ron Osley in jail for tax evasion. I think he um I think he was in a round figure of one point three million or it could have been three point one million. I kinda get them mixed up. But I know he was in the million range. I think it was three point one million. Fat checkers get in there and check it out for me. And that's Sophia Loren. She has a problem with the IRS too. And we getting all this beautiful tea. From Radar Online, get with it. For all your celebrity, celebrity news you can use, you can either go over there or you can come on over here to Dave Chanel's 48th World. That's where you are. Remember, share this girl's videos. Share them, share them, like them, like them, okay? And if you feel obliged, please subscribe, okay? Ah, <sighs> But none of that's my business. But as low as it's trying to be kept, I'm going to speak it out loudly. Because when it comes past my news feed, it's newsworthy. All right. Ah, oh, candy, 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 candy. Right out online brought it out that you in 20 plus K for old and back taxes. Okay. We already know the restaurant business is kicking your behind. And I don't know what your daughter doing up there. She probably saying, Lord, let me get through school so I can get my mama out of this debt or, or whatever. Get rid of Todd or something. Because I don't understand. It seems like the OLG might be going into bankruptcy. Because you're talking about you don't want to pay something. I'm like, what are you doing, girl? Do you have a friend that work in the IRS or some parts of the government that can fix this for you? Because you can keep on letting them tally it up and tally it up and tally it up. And guess what? You're going to find yourself behind some balls. That they're going to be telling you when to come and go. And you ain't going to be able to go nowhere. Okay. The OLG ain't looking pretty good, girl. I need you to have somebody. The Don Juan ain't doing it for you. You need to have someone like Don Juan. But in the hospitality restaurant business. Because, girl. If I'm there, it'd be $500 in debt with the government. RF. If I'm there, to be 5000 and that's where you should have stopped. Really you should have stopped at 500. So you seem to be a real fugal. I mean a now lady y'all. I had one in a long time. So excuse me for the uh, smacking. It's great too. Woo. But anyway. Going back to what we came here to talk about. Can the hunter. You don't want to go to jail like Mr. Big. He had to go back and then when he came out. He had to be re reinvented. And you know Robert. K, that's how we're going to say. Because he in trouble himself right about now. And he ain't got nothing to do with no tax liens. But he had to reinvent Mr. B. Ron Isaac. Because people had forgot about him. Which I didn't forget about him. Because they always made good music. The Isaac Brothers. Oh, yes, they did. But, you know, Ron went to go solo. Solo dolo. 
and then he want to hook up with nobody else. So it's just him and I think his only other living brother that played a guitar real well. They still doing their thing. They still crooning around now with their old self. But they still look cute. They still look handsome. They still fine. But honey, candy, 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 candy. Cody Knights. Girl, Candy Bird, you know you're doing your thing up there. Producing a movie or a play. You got back on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Is this going to be your storyline, girl? That you ain't paying your taxes? Are you being stubborn? Girl, you don't need to be stubborn. Mm-mm. You sign on dollar line, write a check, cut a check, do something. Because you don't want them to get mad at you. And they start finding more dirt on you. Because you know those health inspections that you've been getting lately haven't been pleasing to the public. And then you're drawing more self to you. you drawing more attention to yourself by not paying your taxes. Cool, girl. And I'm like saying, ain't no 500000 Girl, you in the double digits. And it just keeps growing by a day. Like candy, 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 candy. Girl. Well, let's get on to this article and see what Radar Online had to say. Even though it's old news, it just still won't go away, candy. Because I thought you paid that. This past summer. For you sent right off to school. You still ain't paying them taxes, girl. Is it something you want Todd to pay? And he just ain't got the finances to do it at this time. Because if that's the case, settle your losses. End the contract with the OLG gang. And conserve your money for Blades and Ace. Okay? Because Ryder going to take care of herself. And she ain't putting Todd in that scenario, okay? She'll take care of you, Candy, because she know you good, you good, got a good heart and all that kind of stuff. You want to help everybody in the family and everything, but Riley ain't going to be that way. Riley take care of her grandmama. Might remember her aunts. And that's a big, strong maybe. But she'll be there for uh, Riley. I mean, she'll be there for Ace and um, Blaze. But, child, mm-mm. I think you better settle up, girl. Settle up. Make some payment plans. Like the poor people. I want to see. I want to call us poor. But the ones that uh, don't have that kind of money to move from this way to that way. <sighs> to offset some of the pain of getting rid of some of that hard saved earned money. You know, we got to get on payment plans. Well, I speak for myself. I had had payment plans with the RS. And I did definitely want to pay them because they come for you. Girl, when they come for you hard, you be gasping for air. You be gasping for air because they be taking everything under the sun. Stuff you didn't think you had anymore. They come out and find and say, okay, yeah, we can do something with this. <laughs> we can get our coins off this. But anyway, Radio Online titled their article, Real Housewives of Atlanta Star. Candy Burr's business accused of owing 20 k in back taxes. Months after ATL restaurant failed health inspection. Child, they coming at you both ways, Candy. They ain't forgot about your restaurant failures of it, excuse me, of in, uh, inspections. They coming with both of them. Saying you got tax problems and you got restaurant business problems. They ought to be ashamed. They should have made that in a separate video. They shouldn't have came at you that hard. You know what I'm saying? Back to back, back. Woo, so while you sit up there in New York or wherever you are producing a play, girl, you need to be dropping a check somewhere real quick, pass in a hurry, all right? And with social media that's keeping blasting you out, girl, go on and pay them tax. Get a payment plan, girl. Get a payment plan. You ain't scared. You ain't, um, I'm sure you don't think you're too good to get a payment plan, girl. Woo, but anyway. Ryan, I think it's Newman, or Naaman, he wrote up the article on Canterbury. So let's read and see what he had to say. It says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Canterbury have been slapped with a second federal tax lien in a matter of months. Oh my girl. Not the first one. But they slapped you with another one. I'm trying to remember what the first one was about. I know I thought it was like two or three or four thousand dollars. Girl, it done double. 
Let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. According to court records obtained by Radar. Damn, Radar line be all up in people. Ben, that's why Kenya Moore don't want her records where the public can get a hold to them. That's why she wants. She's fighting very fierce, uh, ferociously to keep her divorce and the settlement that her and Mark will be going through uh, later on throughout the year or maybe next year. Probably next year. She's fighting to keep everything sealed. And if I was her, I'd be doing the same dog on thing. Because I ain't going to tell it in the dog. I sure ain't going to tell it in the light. <laughs> Even though it's going to come out. But I wouldn't be the one to tell it. Because these bloggers, they be doing something. I just be talking about giving my opinion. But they be going, they be going all into you. your business, your family business, everybody's business is connected to you. And that's all. But we ain't that deep over here at Snails for this world. We just give our opinions on stuff. That's it. But they done went to the courthouse and drew up papers or paid for information on this situation with Candy going through tax troubles. Okay. Let's go on back and see what Radar Online did now. Which is their God given right because anything is public record. Anybody can go and put down some coins, some dollars, whatever the expected amount is to be paid for certain documents to be released to the public you can do that so they never, they're not breaking any laws okay but it says according to court records obtained by radio online the bravo stars company burris tucker restaurant group llc is accused of owing five thousand one hundred and fifty six dollars and fifty cents okay what's with these fives girl and back taxes the lien filed by the Internal Revenue Service accuses Candy and her husband, Todd Tucker, refusing to pay up on the money owed for their 2021 bill. Oh, like 2021 bill. How did, see, some people pay taxes quarterly. Some people pay it annually. I don't know what. See, I never had a strong business like Candy has been involved in. But, you know, she's leasing her building. So that's cool. Either way, that's why folks don't need to go into the restaurant business unless they know everything about restaurants' laws and how you function between them and what you can write off, what you're going to be having to eat, and all that kind of stuff. But your money, whoo, be drying up, be drying up quick when you be dumping them in a well. They got an endless pit, you know what I'm saying? It's just endless, endless, endless. You drop them out. There were a lot of people, um, restaurants and stuff of that nature geared to that type of environment. Don't last. Because you got to have deep pockets that never seem to have an ending. And I don't know if candy pockets run that deep. All right? But it might. It might. But I don't know if I would be wanting to keep throwing money down a well. Just to say I got some restaurants going on. I don't know. What is Lanethia Leaks doing over there in her lounge? Candy, you might be need to take pointers or something, girl. Because I ain't heard about Nene Leaks the Lanethia having any code violations since the business been open. So whoever she don't hire, girl, you need to check them out and let them give you some pointers. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Candy and Todd on two restaurants in Atlanta named Old Lady Gang and Blaze. Okay? Now, see, it's funny. Where somebody's doing a story, they always attach themselves to the main person that got the clout. See, they don't put Todd in this big old situation. Because if it were me, I would have put Candy Burris and Todd Tucker over the RS 20 grand. What are they going to do? So I would say something like that in my title. Queen and Todd get nowhere out of this situation. Candy might be the one fronting the money, but he's spending the money. So his name would have been drug along with my name. If a name got to go bad, ah, we going down with the ship together, brother. It ain't just going to be my name. It's going to be your name, too. And any other money I can get out you, too. Because it's, it's, it's uh, what do you call it, 50-50. So she probably waiting on his other half to come through. That it ain't come through yet. Because he still keeps sponging off of her. Which, he's really not sponging off of her. It's more so, she's allowing it at this time. But anyway, going on back to the article. It says, Delene appears to be connected to their businesses. Taxes. 
which are due quarterly. See, I know I was right. Uh, somewhere in that ballpark figure. In July, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star was hit with a separate lien over a 2020 bill. See, we don't left this year. We don't went back. They keep trying to mess with the RS. They're going to keep going back. 1999 and 1998, 97. And then they're going to find more candy. So I suggest you make it go away. Go and pay them for their money, girl. Get us this payment installment plan. If you don't want to pay it off at one time, I'm sure they'll work with you. I'm sure they'll work with you. If they work with lamest people like me, I know they can work with you, candy. All right. So going back, it says in July, the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star was hit with a separate lien over a 2020 bill. The RS said her company owed $15,812.52 for the year. Now, my thing is, are you trying to write it off somewhere? Are you, what, what, what is your accountant telling you? I don't understand, Ken. I really don't. Because this twenty grand could turn into something much bigger. It can go into the millions, baby. And we don't want to see you do all that. I'm like, that's right, Mama Joyce, I already on Todd Tucker behind. Because I ain't never known you. When you were just hanging with your mama and dating these other folks that you seem to be trying to keep. I ain't never seen them get you get you into this kind of stuff where it was just a scandal on your businesses being bad and this, that, and the third. And you owing this to the government. You didn't have this kind of life till you met Todd. And that's all just running up everything, you know, and not bringing in nothing. Because I'm still waiting on that truck driving business that he had formed. And, and what, what what was it doing, you know? It should have been very profitable with COVID. Should have been able to go here and there and, and get goods and bring them back, whatnot. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not looking good, Ken. Not looking good, girl. Okay. Going back to the article, it says the grand total for the tax debt comes to 20 thousand nine hundred and sixty nine dollars and two cents they had to put the cent on there. couldn't let it be one whole rounded number they just put the cents on there i'm sure you can pay that two cent candy i can pay the two cent for you okay both leaves remain active and have yet to be settled with uncle sam candy restaurants are dealing with issues behind the scenes blaze has struggled to pass health inspections and currently has a c rating all right and then she over there Candy, why are you over there selling uh, alcohol or liquor? Were you charging for ice cubes? And then you had to go on Instagram and try to tell us about the restaurant or tour business and how you sell alcohol and how you have to, you know, charge with this, that, and the third because alcohol is expensive. Well, we knew that, Candy. We just thought you knew that, too. The consumer knew. Alcohol in anybody's restaurant is the biggest piece of resistance of making your money. Then the food, if you care to get into that, and then the occupancy. But the alcohol always be the first thing that's going to cost you a lot of money. And you got to get so many different licenses to hold to be able to sell alcohol to your consumers. Ah, But anyway. Back in May, the restaurant was forced to temporarily shut down as an inspector found multiple code violations. The report noted the inspector observed hot potential hazardous food received at less than 135 degrees, expired food being used, and food not being properly labeled. Properly labeled. Food handlers touched raw oysters and raw salmon and then proceeded to handle ready-to-eat leafy greens with the same gloves on improper on improperly moving from raw food to ready to eat foods is a source of cross contamination the inspector wrote and that's why we begin sick in the restaurant because it ain't just uh candy folks out there doing it it's a slew of other folks doing it as well see what i'm saying they doing it as well so we ain't gonna count candy out as being her restaurant is the only one doing these dastardly dirty deeds no a lot of them are doing it and we get food poison off of it. But, you know, hey, when we go out and partake in other people's business, you just never know. That's why you have to stay prayed up, okay? But you tend to get, you know, here and there throughout your lifetime uh, food poisoning. And that's so, woo, you don't really want that because that stuff be coming out your mouth and it be coming out your, your butthole, okay? But it just is what it is. But it's like candy, 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 girl, what you doing now, no girl? Pay them taxes, girl, because I don't want to see nothing come bad. Because Ace and um Blade need their mama. 
she don't need to be going nowhere behind no bars because she refused to pay some taxes which we know you got the money candy we know you got the money but maybe you just like staying in the news because bad press is good press these days so you really should be getting your share of the press candy okay uh we go back to the article it says the score blaze received which before it shut down was a b all right b is okay b is not an a we need to strive for being in that a range even if it's a low a we can we can deal with that because that's like plus that's a b plus you see what i'm saying still in good rating but when you drop down to the c whoo and it depends on how low that c is you might well say it's an f it's an f candy it's an f Ain't nobody want to sit there and pay all them nice prices you got for your aviance and the food stuck and going to make us sick. Girl, no. Do better. Come better. Going back to the article, it says, Old Lady Gang isn't very much better. The restaurant has a C rating and hasn't received an A rating since February. The biggest violation during this inspection was food not being kept at the proper temperature, which is a good breeding ground for food poisoning. That's me, not in this article. And it says Candy has not spoken publicly about her restaurant issues. Well, when they're right, they're right. When you're talking about inspector going, doing their darn thing, doing their job that they do on a daily basis. No, I wouldn't be saying that either. I'd be having a PR person to talk for me. I would not be out there trying to say anything. But Candy gets stuck up in the juice sometime, And then she'd be going trying to defend her own self. And I'm like, no, baby. No, you're not inclined to talk that kind of language. Your daughter is getting very educated. So she can handle, hopefully, some of your affairs as she gets older. And she grows into the business. The entertainment lawyer uh, business. A candy girl, candy girl. I don't know. I don't know what your move is, but I hope it's it's good. It's a good move, and you're going to sure come in here and surely, you know, turn it out for the better. Because, you know, Mama Joyce needs to be taking care of her, honey. She said she sacrificed a lot, and she needs you to take care of her. Which, you know, you should be willing to do such a thing. <sighs> but, you know, because that's your mom. She did what she had to do for you to get you where you are to this point before you met Todd. You know, you had owned your own house at the time. It was a nice house, you know. Um, then you met Todd and you really wanted to go uh, show your stuff. And I'm pretty sure you had a very, very nice bank account back then, too, because you're frugal. And, and, and you invest in quality. I watch you. I've been watching you, Candy. But then when you hooked up with Todd, you just throw caution to the wind. You just been doing in and everything. It don't make no sense. Where's Mama Joyce? Where are your aunt signing? They need to beat some sense into your head. And if you do have a lot of people over there that's working for you, that's family, you need to either send them to school, learn them about proper temperature, pro- proper handling of the food. So you won't be looking so wild and crazy out here in these streets. Because that's all I'm hearing is candy, candy, candy birds. And candy birds ain't doing nothing. It's the people she got employed that's doing the mess. But it always come back to the big dog on the block. And as you can. I think you need to straighten it up. Get in there, straighten it up, straighten it out, girl. Don't go out like that. And you better pay them taxes, girl. Pay them back. Get that payment plan, girl. Get that payment plan. Okay, that's all I have for this video. Because hey, Ron Ice had to go to jail, Lauren Hill had to go to jail, Mom Stewart had to go to jail. Okay, and I'm sure they weren't in the same jails if you get my drill. Shoot, can you know you won't be down there, girl? You won't, you won't, you, you wouldn't hold it long. You wouldn't hold it long, girl. All right, but that's all I got for this video. If y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Please help, don't hesitate. Get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about it. And, and the situation can just keep uh, rolling the dice with this IRS. You know, you can't roll the dice with the IRS, girl. No, mm -mm, I wouldn't even try. I wouldn't try doing it, can I? wouldn't try. Who? Who, girl? But anyway, that's all I had. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.